This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment educational purposes only. And anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff. So you get the videos I put them out. See what I'm thinking, see I'm analyzing that data. Like I tell every day, the data they release us is false. It really gives a false narrative of the market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, yesterday I did a video on MULN. I thought the price shooting up was absolutely outrageous. I said once they open up that option chain, I'm going to buy puts. But I'm going to tell you, after thinking about it and looking at everything that's going on in the market, I have changed my opinion. I have changed my opinion, ladies and gentlemen. Okay? Mullen had so many halts yesterday, which lets me believe that it was getting out of control for the bad actors. That they had to call their homies, their buddies at the SEC to shut it down. Now, am I saying that I don't think MULN could reverse back down to damn near zero? No, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is this. These bad actors are so concerned about AMC and GME and their liquidity is drying up. They don't have the resources to control the price of every single stock that they are naked shorting they can't do it so they're gonna have to pick their poison and this is just my opinion i'm not telling you to buy hold to sell muln i'm not telling you to buy hold to sell gme i'm not telling you to buy hold to sell amc but amc and gme are the stocks that will ruin them it's the stocks that will force them into bankruptcy so they they're gonna put every penny they have so in my opinion there is a possibility they could lose control of muln and it could run but because we know they are criminals and because we know that the sec the doj and the fbi will do absolutely nothing when these guys manipulate our stock market, I have decided that the best course of action with this MULN play is to buy some straddles. And for you guys that don't know what a straddle is, a straddle is a very simple option strategy. You're going to buy a call. at the same strike price that it's selling for, and you're gonna buy a put at the same strike price that it's selling for. So you're gonna buy a put and a call with the same strike price. And the reason you're doing that is this. If the stock shoots all the way up, you're gonna make some money. If the, shot, the stock shoots all the way down, you're gonna make some money. And your losses are locked in. You know exactly how much you are putting at risk. And I'm not telling you to do a straddle. I'm just telling you that I've decided, based on the volatility with MULN, based on the fact that I think it can go either way at this point, I think a straddle is my best investment option to try to get some of that money back I lost in this mulling plate. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think that the bad actors have to focus a majority of their money to manipulate AMC and GME that they might have to let MULN run <laughs> in order to stop AMC from going to the moon and bankrupting them? Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.